This second video is intended for the IT professional who is performing the installation of GE Healthcare's remote console. As we stated in the first video, remote console allows customers to remotely connect to GE imaging devices for guidance and training purposes using VNC connections. The remote user will connect to the imaging devices through a web browser. Once connected, they're able to view the console or even control the mouse and keyboard. In preparation for the installation, there are three infrastructure items that should be checked to ensure minimal requirements are met. The first is the server computer. These are the minimum requirements for the server. It can be a physical server or a virtual machine. The customer must supply the server. The second is the appropriate web browser required on the remote user's computers. The compatible browsers are listed. Note that Google Chrome is not supported since it does not support the Java application used to view the console. The final item is ensuring the correct Java runtime engine is installed on both the server and the remote user's computers. They need to run the 32-bit version of the Java runtime engine version 7 or later. In addition to these items, your network must support at least 100 megabits per second throughput and support HTTP connections through port 8080. Now we will walk through the installation of the remote console server software. Log on to the remote console server computer using a Windows administrator account and insert the remote console software DVD. If necessary, you can copy the contents of the DVD to a network drive and access it from there. Install the remote console software following the on-screen instructions. If you receive a message saying that the server could not find a Java virtual machine to load, you need to install Java on the remote console server computer. When the installation is complete, reboot the server computer. The reboot is required to start the necessary services. Next, we will check that the remote console server is working properly. From the remote console server, go to the URL shown on your screen. Note that CRC must be in uppercase. After logging on, you should see the Remote Console homepage. Log into Remote Console using the username admin and the password admin admin. If you're able to sign into the Remote Console, the server is working properly. If you are unable to log onto the Remote Console server, try the following. Restart the server computer. This will make sure that any program files changed during the server installation are available to run. Reinstall the remote console server as an administrator, not just running under a Windows administrator account. In Windows Explorer, right-click the installation program and then click Run as Administrator. The remote console server runs on an Apache Tomcat web server. Make sure the Apache Tomcat service, called CRC service in Windows services, is running. If the service is not running, you'll need to start it. If the service fails to start, contact GE Customer Education at the number shown. If the service starts, make sure the service is set to start automatically when the computer starts. A remote console license must be installed and linked with an imaging device to allow a connection. To obtain your licenses that were purchased, you need to either call or email GE Customer Education. 
you will also need to provide the 16-digit hardware encryption key from the remote console server. To get the hardware encryption key, log on to remote console as an admin user. Click on licensing and then click license management. The preferred method to request the license is by email since you can copy and paste the hardware encryption key, which helps ensure accuracy of characters. In the email, along with the hardware encryption key, include your site name, system ID, and order number if known. After your license files are generated, they will be sent to you by email. You need to perform the following steps directly on the remote console server computer. Copy your license files into a folder on the remote console server computer. Then log onto remote console as a remote console admin. Click licensing and then click license management. On the license management page, click choose file. Select your license files and then click OK. Click Install License Files. Once the license files are installed, licenses can be associated with the entitled GE imaging devices. This step is part of the one-time setup done by the Remote Console Administrator that we will cover in the third video.